some of these sales are crazy if you don't learn anything in this video i don't know what video you will learn in because some of these profit margins are through the roof so i asked you guys on facebook and instagram to send me in your best sales or your best profit margins from 2022 and i got loads and loads back so I've got the iPad. I'm going to fly through some of these crazy, crazy sales. I'll put them up on the screen and just show you what's possible on eBay, what you can find out there. And hopefully you will learn something from this video. Before we do get into it, hit the like button. It helps the channel out massively. Let's get into it. First sale is from Jack. He sold a Behringer wing. He paid £350 and he sold it for £1,949. That is about a £1,500 profit off of one item. I did speak to Jack himself. It cost him £350. He ended up picking up six and he actually sold two of these on Facebook for £3,400 as well. Look out for your Behringer gear. Um, clearly, there's a market for it. I'm not sure if you got it from an auction or from Facebook, but uh, yeah look out for those second sale is from my beloved ricky lee he did sell this m m tour t-shirt from 2001 he spent two pound 50 on the item and then spent six pounds 50 to get it repaired and he sold it for 250 pound always look out for your tour t-shirts whatever the genre they're probably worth getting especially if the vintage single stitch all of that good stuff 250 pound third sale from the facebook group is from matthew and he picked up a manchester united player issue shirt for 20 pounds from the 1996 1998 season so i think they might have had the same third shirt two years in a row anyway it was a player issue john o'keen and he sold it for over a thousand pound on auction self-explanatory but look out for your vintage football shirts fourth sale is from sarah resells on instagram she paid 50p for a john piper cotton fabric two meter length some real rare piece of fabric never heard of it myself she paid 50p and she sold it for 955 pounds 50p pence 50p pence and nine pounds 50 postage that is crazy i would never normally look at just a piece of fabric but maybe now i will that is a crazy crazy profit well done to you sarah that is that is mint next sale is from talia on instagram as well she paid 10 pounds for these laura ashley curtains brilliant flip she got 275 pounds plus 15 pounds postage personally i have looked at curtains in the past but never found anything too good but laura ashley is great in your wallpapers curtains and stuff like that you can get some really good profit in next sale we're going to fly over back to facebook and it was andy he sold a world war ii british warden helmet he paid fiver at a car boot had it in his death pile for a long time and then finally got around to selling it and he got 395 pounds on ebay so five quid into 395 for a world war ii helmet pretty cool item to be honest and um something that would probably stick out to you if you've seen it you think that's pretty cool and you definitely think about picking it up but especially for a fiver but now i know if i see one of these out there i can pay up to 100 pound and get 395 pound back for the next sale we're going to jump back over to instagram it was from wasim reselling cool guy on instagram follow him if you haven't already he paid 27 pound 50 for a gears of war 2 limited edition on ebay and then sold it on ebay for 249.99 so that does show you there is profit to be made on eBay all the time. Next sale is from Andrew. He paid £5 in a charity shop for a time machine kinetic clock with sealed ball bearings. Make of that what you will, because I have no idea what that does. Anyway, he sold it brand new in the box for £249.95p. It went on the GSP to America and they paid £310 all in. Next up, we have got Stacey from Recovered Riches. Great channel on YouTube if you haven't seen it already. Based in Plymouth, where I am now. So super cool dude, Stacey. He paid £3 late in a car boot for this 2007 HAG Capisco Ergonomic Saddle Chair. Bit of a tongue twister. He paid £3. He had it listed up for £700 and took an offer for £450 with £80 postage. So yeah, late in the car boot day. No one's seen it all morning. Stacey comes in, swoops it up and sells it for, you know, over 500 quid all in. Next up, we've got Kieran Sale from Rummage Around. He paid £25 for a vintage Levi's 1940s leather jacket, and he got £350 for that. So again, a great, great flip. We've got Baz on Facebook. He picked up a Wingfield rocker chair for £35 cash, sold it on Facebook for £550. Again, another item that I probably wouldn't be looking for, but now I will be keeping my eye out. Daniel on Facebook paid £3 for Olympus Mewtwo camera, got £279. Again, this is a camera that all resellers kind of know about. If you do watch the YouTube videos, one to definitely look out for. Great, great profit in that. Especially in the Mew 2, you got the Mew 1 as well, which is still good profit. Samantha on Facebook paid £1 for a Jellycat Teddy. Got £69.99. Brilliant. Plus postage as well. Some jelly cats don't sell for much, but some jelly cats sell for a lot. So if you do see one out there, it's probably worth picking up. You're never going to lose any money on a jelly cat. 
Next up, we've got Ian. He did sell a rock band guitar, Strassocaster, for £150, and he paid £1.50. It's another one of those items that a lot of resellers do know about. Guitar Heroes have been selling for years and years. But yeah, the PlayStation 4 version of Strassocaster, you got £150 for. Great flip. Gary on Facebook picked up a Bakugan Spider-Man Venom figure for 20p and sold it on GSP for £100. Again, I probably might pick something like that up, but I wouldn't know the value whatsoever. Next sales from Dan Reselling Tat. He's got a YouTube channel as well. He paid £3 for some electricals. It was a Technics tape deck. Got £169.99 for that. He also sold a Panasonic amp for £129.99, which he did pay £3 for. So again, one of those common things, electronics do sell really well. It's just knowing which ones. But yeah, if you do see some electronics out in the wild, search them up by the model and you'll find out straight away. Next sale is a little different. It's from Project Games. He did get some Pokemon card packs for 50p on clearance in Wilkinson's. He ended up packing an Umbreon VMAX in there, sold it for £265. So there is a lot of money in the resale of Pokemon cards and stuff like that. Obviously, it's the look of the pack, but yeah, 50p. You're going to pay it every day of the week. He's opened the pack and then he sold the card for £265. Right, before we do end today's video, I'm going to give another £10 Amazon gift card away. So leave a like, leave a comment down below. But in the comment down below, let me know what kind of videos you want to be seeing from me in 2023. You've also got to be subscribed and we'll draw the winner in the next video. A big shout out to everyone who did contribute to today's video. If you do want to get involved in another one in future, follow me on Instagram, link down below, and get involved on the Happy Days Reseller Group, which is linked down below as well. Before we do end today's video, I am going to draw the winner from the last video, so let's do it. So we do have 72 unique commenters from the last video. We're going to press start, and we're going to see who's won Doom Eternal on the Xbox. Let's see. Ryan Parry. You are the winner of the game. So yeah, message me on Instagram, Ryan, and we'll get that sent over to you. His comment was, can you do a video on your top flips of 2022? Also love the content. I've inspired me to get started on reselling. So yeah, thank you, Ryan, for the comment. Congratulations on winning the giveaway. And that video suggestion is very similar to this one. So yeah, I might do a video of my best flips as well. So thank you for watching today's video. There's plenty more to come in 2023. I hope you all have a great Christmas. Leave a like, leave a comment to enter today's giveaway. And I'll see you very soon. Peace.